I'm talking to Rich Riley. Rich, tell me a little bit about your organization. Well, uh, we have a group called uh, Trigger Time. It's uh, part of a World War II 101st Airborne website uh, that has been put together by the world's preeminent 101st Airborne historian Mark Bando and author. And uh, it is a gathering that's held yearly. This is the seventh year that we'll be holding this gathering. And we invite airborne veterans, not just 101st, but all World War II airborne veterans to come to our event. Uh, we have panel discussions where they talk about their service. Uh, we have other individuals who come in and do presentations on airborne history. Uh, we have uh, displays uh, focusing on World War II airborne artifacts. Uh, all kinds of discussions, just uh, a bunch of people who are interested in World War II history. Uh, most importantly, in honoring our veterans and remembering their services and sacrifices. Uh, but people with like interests who like to come together and learn more about our World War II history. Uh, and not just from authors who write about it, but from the men and women who made that history themselves. So uh, we really believe it's important that uh, people take an active interest in learning more about our World War II history. Uh, in today's schools, maybe uh, three or four pages are dedicated dedicate it uh, for our children learning about World War II history and uh, you can't dedicate three or four pages to what our greatest generation did to give us the life uh, that we have today, the freedom of choice, uh, all of our freedoms. Uh, we owe them so much. So, you know, one of the main interests that we have is making sure that nobody ever forgets what our World War II veterans did. And again, uh, this is more focused on uh, the 101st Airborne, 82nd Airborne, 17th Airborne, and 11th Airborne, uh, and troop carrier units. But as time goes on and we lose these heroes to father time and they pass, uh, we started to invite any World War II veterans who might have an interest in this event to come learn more about uh, the history of different units, listen to authors, give presentations, uh, and see the uh, wonderful artifacts from that time period uh, on display. Cleveland, Ohio, and Cuyahoga County, uh, our county has had hundreds of thousands of World War II vets, but even more so important, we had a lot of veterans who served in the 101st Airborne. So that allows us the opportunity to have a lot of those 101st Airborne vets come to this event so people can meet them uh, and they can learn about their, their service during World War II. So we're honored to have it back here for a third time. And uh, we also, we, we have people coming in from all over the country, but this year uh, is somewhat of a first. We have four young men flying all the way over from Europe uh, because of their desire and interest to meet these World War II veterans. So, uh, you know, I think a lot of people say that uh, people are forgetting about what our World War II veterans did. Uh, I have to say just the opposite. I, say, I really believe that uh, what they've done is very well known and appreciated. And the fact that people would travel from such far distances uh, to come here, to come to the Cleveland, Ohio area to see these men, I think that that's, uh, speaks volumes. So it's just an honor for us to, to have this event. And, uh, you know, what better to do than spend your time around such great American heroes like our World War II veterans.